Hey friends, I'm back with my first layout using the Love Story Kit from Close to My Heart Cut Above Layout Kits. If you watch my unboxing, then you know that Close to My Heart just released this kit offering. And the whole idea behind the kit is to get folks to scrapbook their beautiful memories, not to be intimidated by the process, to have a streamlined way of creating beautiful layouts by providing you with pre-printed papers, as well as die cuts and stickers along with an instruction sheet. So this is the Love Story Kit, and to see a complete unboxing of all the kits that I'm going to be using, make sure you check out my unboxing video. That should have come before this video. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to play a little bit with just the basic elements out of this kit, and then later on in the video, I'm going to pull in some items from my stash to show you that you can coordinate items from your stash with these beautiful elements that are a part of this kit. So I'm using this beautiful pre-printed background with the grays and the beautiful corals. Here I'm showing you some elements that I pulled from my stash and I'll get to that here in just a second. So I'm sort of reviewing the example kit that comes, I'm sorry, the example layout that comes with the kit. Of course, you get a set of instructions with all the kits and I'm going to mix it up just a little bit to fit my needs. Now, I'm usually not a two page scrapbooker. I used to be, but not so much anymore. So I'm going to alter this a little bit and I'm going to do a one page layout. Now, I'm mounting my photo on a piece of white cardstock. And as I mentioned in my unboxing, these kits come with pre-cut papers that you can actually mount your photos on. However, the color of the paper was gray and I printed my, paper, my photo in black and white. And so I needed something that was going to distinguish my photo from the rest of that gray tone that's in the background. So I mounted my paper on white cardstock. Now I'm going to bring in a text phrase that says together and this particular sticker die cut is separate so it comes in two pieces and I struggle just a little bit to get it straight because I don't have an eye for straight. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this little flourish or I guess it's a doily, looks like a half doily, maybe that's a better description, adding some Tombow Mono Adhesive and I'm going to adhere that to the side and I'm somewhat following the example layout that came with the instructions and guess what that's perfectly okay that's a whole point of this kit is that you can follow the directions as they are or at least follow what's provided in the example layout or you can mix it up and do your own thing. The whole point is to keep it simple um, so that you're documenting your story and making beautiful pages. So now I'm creating clusters using stickers and die cuts, the floral elements out of the die cut and the sticker set. And I'm looking at the example layout. And the only thing that's really different is the fact I use the together versus the pink font. And then also I only have one photo. All right. So having the base of that layout already done for me, the pre-printed paper, and I, of course, these other elements, and at least having a guide as well, I'm able to sort of take this up a little bit more. I'm going to elevate it. So I'm going to bring in some of my die cuts and such that I have out of my stash, um, mixed manufacturers. I just sort of have these things laying around. And I picked items that I felt coordinated well with the colors in this kit. So I knew that blue turquoise would look great with the gray and the coral. And of course that little chipboard uh, clothespin looks adorable, kind of bringing in that wood grain texture. It's really fun. I'm going to bring in this little uh, wreath that plays off of that, uh, I guess it's more of a mint color versus a turquoise frame. It plays off that color just a little bit. And I'm going to bring in this little house that also has some pink in there. I'm going to pop up some of these elements on some foam dots to provide a little bit of um, dimension to the layout. Now, since this layout is about family, I thought using that house would be appropriate because anytime I see house icons, I always think about layouts regarding family. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on the layout. Now I'm going to bring in those stickers that came with the kit. So there goes that floral sticker that's now going to be to the left hand side of the house, as well as this little die cut flower. And now I'm going to create yet another floral cluster there to the right hand side by the frame. And I'm also going to add in the die cut flower on top of that little sticker flower. And I think that looks good. I'm going to introduce a new color, which is yellow. So I'm going to do that with this little tab sticker. This is from a very old Felicity Jane sticker sheet. So I'm just going to stick that right in there again, using up some of the things in my stash. And then I cut out this little banner that says happy. So now my title reads happy together. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that straight to the background, just bring in some more of those beautiful coordinating colors. Now see how that looks a little bit different than the example, but I'm using items from my stash. I didn't have to think too hard about it because the paper was already done for me and I already had a good place to start. So you could keep it just the way that it is. 
using the items that you have in the kit, or you can bring in items from your stash and then make your layout unique to your design aesthetic. So now I'm using some of those journaling uh, die cut stickers, uh, the little strips, and I wrote out my journaling on those strips, which I absolutely love. I'm adding in some little puppy stickers. Again, I think that's from a Felicity Jane puppy sticker sheet. Can't remember, but I'm almost certain that it is. And so I'm adding those cute little puppy stickers there. And then I'm going to go back to the sticker sheet that came with the kit. I'm going to add a label that says I adore. I'm going to put that right on top of that Felicity Jane tab. And I'm going to move that little um, puppy heart down just a little bit by the flowers. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and write the date on the back of the layout. This is something that I've been doing recently because for some reason when I write dates or stamp dates on my layouts, they don't look good to me. So I just write them on the back so I remember when this particular story or happening occurred. So now I'm looking and comparing it to the example layout. So while I had those base elements in place, which was great, it took a lot of the guesswork out and all I had to do was either leave it the way I had it originally designed or I can add more things to it. And of course I love to layer and I like to add a lot of texture and dimension. And so I did add some things from my stash to the layout. All right guys, don't forget if you wanna learn more about these fantastic kit offerings, make sure you head on over to the Close To My Heart website. A link is posted down below. Hey, before you go, make sure you subscribe to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. And when you do, click that bell indicator. That way you'll be notified every time a new video is posted here to the channel. Now you go and be creative.